Hey, this is Kendra with Signing Agent Basics. And in this video, I'm gonna tell you the top 10 things that I love about being a signing agent. Not too long ago, I did a few surprising videos where I talk about the possible downsides of being a signing agent. The first one was titled, You Should Not Be a Signing Agent, and I've got a link to that video for you up at the top of the screen. Make sure that you check it out. In that video, I talked about the main challenges and misconceptions that new signing agents have when they first start their signing agent business. And not too long after that video, I did another video called Things I Hate About Being a Signing Agent. Again, make sure you check that video out as well. I've got a link to that video for you up at the top of the screen. And in that video, I told you, well, the 10 things that I hate about being a signing agent. Now, even though I made those two videos, it was still obvious to me that despite the challenges that I listed in those videos, I obviously love being a signing agent since I've been a signing agent for the past 14 years. And a lot of the times, I don't even really think about the things that I love about being a signing agent. I just love it. but. I had someone ask me to go over the top 10 things that I love about being a signing agent, so that's what I'm doing in this video. But before I get started, new signing agents, what are some of the things that you are looking forward to about being a signing agent? Veteran signing agents, what are some of the things that you love about being a signing agent? Go down into the comment section right now and let me know, and look, no matter what, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. All right, guys, with no further ado, I'm going to tell you the top 10 things that I love about being a signing agent. And make sure that you stick around to the end of this video because I'm going to tell you my absolute favorite thing about being a signing agent. The first thing that I love about being a signing agent is the relative ease and low cost that it takes to start your signing agent business. Guys, in the grand scheme of things, it is super easy to start a business as a signing agent. It doesn't take years of college. It doesn't take years of specialized training. It does not take tens of thousands of dollars. You could literally become a successful signing agent in 60 days after only spending $750 or less to get your signing agent business started. If you've looked into any other self-employment opportunities and business opportunities, I'm sure that you've seen that it either takes a lot more money, a lot more time, or both time and money to be successful with a self-employed business. But that's not necessarily the case with being a signing agent. Compared to some of the other self-employment opportunities out there and business opportunities out there, you can become a self-employed signing agent very quickly without spending a lot of money. Now, if you are interested in becoming a signing agent but you don't know the steps to get started, make sure that you check out my How to Become a Signing Agent video. You know I've got you. There is a link to that video up at the top of the screen. But guys, once I had made the decision to become a signing agent and I went full time, I was making full time income within three months of making that decision. And my initial costs or investment to become a signing agent was right around $500 with a big chunk of that being the cost for my laser printer. I personally don't know of any other self-employment opportunity where you can get started that quickly with that small an amount of money down. The second thing that I love about being a self-employed signing agent is that you are in total control. 
Part of the reason why I became a signing agent is that in my previous career with a mortgage company, I honestly felt that my career options were not totally under my control. Even though I was meeting and even exceeding many of the goals that the company had set out for me, I wasn't getting promotions like I wanted to. And when I was asking my supervisor for clarification as to why I wasn't being promoted, I wasn't given a clear answer. I really did not like that feeling that my future with the company, which honestly translated to my future period, just wasn't under my control. But as a self-employed signing agent, everything that I do is under my control. My success, and my failure is totally dependent upon me and how much time and effort I put into making my signing agent business a success. Now I know that not everybody likes that type of control, but I do. So that's why the fact that I'm in control is one of the things that I love about being a signing agent. The third thing that I love about being a self-employed signing agent is that I get to control my work environment or in layman's terms, for the most part, I get to work from home. One of the things that I disliked about working a regular job at a regular company is that you are expected to be at the job at the company office for your work day. It didn't matter if you had a lot of work to complete or no work to complete. You still had to physically be in the office. Well, as a signing agent, my office is my home. So on days where I don't have as much work to do, I get to spend that downtime in the comfort of my own home. And who doesn't love sitting on their couch watching Netflix? Now, of course, that doesn't mean that I'm not working, but I get to pick my work environment. And that means, guys, that I get to work from home. The fourth thing that I love about being a self-employed signing agent is that I am in control of my work schedule. I don't have to ask anyone to take time off. If I don't want to get started until 9 or 10 a.m., I don't have to. If I want to take an afternoon off, I can do that. If I want to take days off to go on a vacation, I can absolutely do that as well. Now, of course, understand that as a self-employed signing agent, you still have to work. You can't take every single day off, but I love not having to ask anyone else for permission to take any time off, any days off, any hours off that I want. I get to control my schedule, which means that I can take off time whenever I want or need. The fifth thing that I love about being a signing agent is the variety. Look guys, no two days as a signing agent are ever the same. Some days I've got back-to-back -back appointments and I'm working from morning until the evening and other days are more laid back. I may only have one or two appointments that are kind of scattered throughout the day or as I stated before, I could take a few days off in the middle of the week. Every single day is different. One of the things that I didn't like about working a regular job with a regular company is that it often felt like Groundhog Day. Every day seemed to be exactly like the last day. But that's not the case as a signing agent. You have so much variety every day is different. The sixth thing that I love about being a signing agent is I feel extremely passionate about my job. If you guys can't tell, I love being a signing agent. Now, I'm gonna tell the truth. Being a signing agent is not the most exciting job in and of itself, but what is exciting about it is the fact that I am my own boss. 
What's exciting about it is that I'm in control of my future. What's exciting about it is that I am building a business for myself. I absolutely have more passion about being a signing agent than I ever had about any position that I had with any of the companies that I had worked for previously. The seventh thing that I love about being a signing agent is that I get to pick my coworkers. For any of you who have worked a regular job, you know that you're gonna have coworkers that you like, and you're gonna have coworkers that you don't like. But when you are a self-employed signing agent, you get to choose the people and the companies that you work with. And you can choose to not work with any person or any company. And as your signing agent business grows, you may decide to hire subcontractors to work underneath you. And again, guys, you will get to pick each and every one of those subcontractors. Work as a signing agent is a lot more fun because you get to choose your coworkers and all of the people that you work with. The eighth thing that I love about being a signing agent is that I got to expand my knowledge base. Now, not everyone may consider this a benefit, but when you become a signing agent, you have to learn not just how to be a signing agent, but you also have to learn how to run a business. You have to learn how to market. You have to learn how to do accounting. You have to learn how to be your own tech support. And while those things can sometimes be a little bit frustrating, I personally am one of those types of people who just loves learning new things. So since I've become a signing agent, I've learned a lot more about the things that interest me. And the things that interest me are how to make my signing agent business better. The ninth thing that I love about being a signing agent is that you get to meet interesting people and build meaningful networks. In my 14 years as a signing agent, I've done loan signings for some very cool and interesting people. I've done signings for NFL players. I've done signings for people in the music industry. I've done signings for current and former politicians. And I've done signings for small business and large business owners, just to name a few. These are people that I would not have had the access to talk to as just a regular person. And while you always want to keep every signing professional, having the opportunity to talk to these people and ask them a few questions is priceless. And a few of the people that I've met and done signings for, I've actually been able to keep in my network. So even though my relationship with them started off with a loan signing, I was able to use that meeting to keep them in my business network, which was a positive benefit for my business. So yes, meeting interesting people and building my network is definitely one of the things that I love about being a signing agent. Alrighty guys, it is time for my 10th final and most favorite thing that I love about being a signing agent. My absolute favorite thing that I love about being a signing agent is the financial potential. Look guys, everything else is nice, everything else is great, but let's tell the truth. We all work to make money. And as a signing agent, you have the potential to make quite a bit of money. It is actually very possible to make six figures, $100,000 or more as a signing agent. And if you don't believe me, I got a video about it. Make sure that you check it out. There is a link up at the top of the screen. But guys, in all honesty, I make more money as a signing agent than I did in the positions that I had with the mortgage company that I worked at previously. Not only do I make more money, but I also do it working fewer hours and working from home. Again, all of the other benefits about being a signing agent are great, they're true, and I absolutely love them, but the biggest 
most important and my favorite thing that I love about being a signing agent is the financial potential. So guys, was this video helpful? Do you now understand some of the awesome things that I love about being a signing agent? If so, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up right now. And after hearing all the things that I love about being a signing agent, if you want to become a signing agent, but you just need a little bit of training and mentoring, make sure that you check out my signing agent advanced training program and my remote online notarization quick start training program. I've got a link for you up at the top of the screen and there is also information down in the description box. And if you're not already following me on Instagram, Facebook, and LinkedIn, make sure that you do that today. Links to all of my socials are also down in the description box. No matter what, go ahead and hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, and then hit the notification bell so that you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. This is Kendra with Signing Agent Basics, hoping that you have a productive and profitable day.